general relativity, step by step. I'm going to show you a piece of flawed reasoning that tripped me up for quite a long time. And I believe that um, showing flawed reasoning and the, the resolution of that res reasoning, uh, flawed reasoning, is a very valuable exercise. So I'm going to do it. Um, what I've got here is the tensile transformation law for a stress energy tensor, written in this rather fetching notation, this coloured notation. We've got alphas written in red, betas in green, and the two dummy indices which are summed over, mu and nu, written in blue and uh, orange here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to red, which equals wrong or flawed reasoning. And I'll show you an inconsistent result which drove me nuts and it took me a very long time to resolve it. And I have to say, I'm not even sure I've resolved it now, certainly not to my satisfaction. But anyway, I'll show you what it is. The barred frame, we've got an X bar and T bar reference frames and that's going to be linked to the unbarred reference frames by a bog standard Lorentz transform. And sometimes I'll write that down as this, I, J, as a 2 by 2 transformation matrix. I'm just going to consider a 2 by 2 case. And I'm also going, going to consider a frame in which T is equal to, uh, I'm sorry, rho 0, P. So it's diagonal. And in this rest frame, uh, there's, no, there's no off diagonal elements. And so it corresponds to a perfect fluid. Remember, red equals wrong. Okay, so how do I evaluate all these things? Well, let's have a look. Let, well, let's just write it out. Um, this thing here is T bar, which equals my first component of my Lorentz transform times the second component which is the first one, the second one, and here's the third one, which is the stress energy tensor rho zero zero p. Okay, so I can write out gamma, gamma u, gamma u, gamma there, which equals, I'm going to multiply the bracket out first, gamma squared plus gamma squared u squared for the top left, two gamma squared u down here, because we've got gamma times gamma u plus gamma u times gamma. This one's going to be the same, gamma squared u, and this one's going to be gamma squared u squared plus gamma squared times the original matrix 0p. I can factorise that quite nicely because I can take out a scalar factor of gamma squared. 1 plus u squared, 2u, 2u, 1 plus u squared times rho 00p. Remember, red equals flawed, flawed thinking. And I'll show you the resolution in a minute. Equals gamma squared, as it should, there should be a factor of gamma squared in this. Rho, 1 plus u squared. Top right, 2pu. Lower left is 2 rho u. And that's going to be p1 plus u squared. And of course, this is a problem because it's not symmetric. A general feature of stress energy tensors in any reference frame is that it is symmetric in its two indices. And this is not symmetric. So what is going on? Well, it's not obvious. It's not obvious at all what's going on. It's not obvious what's going on at all. Until you realise... Well, let me just write out what this thing here actually specifies. That specifies... Well, le let me talk about these two things here. What... What these two terms are here, we've, we, we've got, I'll go back to black because I'm going to talk about things properly now. Gamma, gamma u, gamma u, gamma, gamma, gamma u, gamma u, gamma. Well, let me just write it out. If I write out row indices and then column indices down there, we've got row contracted with an index here, which I'm summing over, alpha, and then the column. So that is the representation 
of this matrix product here because I'm contracting on the columns of the first matrix with the rows of the, of the second because I'm doing rows with columns like that. And what we want is something altogether different. Well, let me just let me just remind refresh my memory as to what we've got down here. Well, let me just write that down again. We've got alpha mu beta nu. There's no summation there. To use the matrix transformation has an internal summation corresponding to matrix multiplication. And the real rule that we want, the real rule that we want to use, does not have that summation. So these things are different. Matrix, matrix notation is misleading and incorrect. It looks like it works. And it does kind of work for a lot of things. But it doesn't work here. And it's enough to drive you nuts. So take home message is write out the tensor equations with proper index notation and just work with those because it'll save you making the same kind of crazy mistakes that I made that tripped me up for a very long time. I'm going to stop there. Stop.